On day 20, their bodies are depleted of energy as extraction looms ahead. I'm tired, I'm feeling the effects of hunger. My body is kind of done. Unfortunately, what we're battling is the fact that we're 20 pounds, 30 pounds less than we were the first day. Sounds like we got at least a, a, a solid day's hike. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it in one day, though. No, I mean, considering how much we're both broken down, I think we should probably plan for two days. In the event of more overnight rain, Lisa and Tom construct a crude version of a Native American sled known as a travoy to transfer shingles for a makeshift shelter. Not 100% confident in the travoy, but I hope to God it works, because it'd be nice to not be soaking wet in hypothermic tonight. On the first leg of their treacherous 10-mile extraction journey, Lisa and Tom face an uphill battle, dragging their makeshift shelter supplies up and over the steep hills in hopes of making camp at the halfway point by nightfall. If they survive the night, they face another five-mile trek across streams and rivers in order to arrive at a road where they'll be extracted by an evac vehicle. That's, that's heavy, you know. Getting that up and over the hill is going to take a lot. All right, well, just take as much as you can. I'll take as much as I can, and we'll have to figure out the rest as we go. Oh, getting up a hill without anything right now with the energy level we have is going to be hard. Getting up with an extra 30, 40 pounds of bark strapped to us is really going to be hard. We should get going. Let's do it. I just got to take it slow. Yeah. That's kind of what I was fearing, is that we're going to get snagged on everything that gets in our way. Yep. Ugh. Ah! What? Thorns. Freaking thorns everywhere, this whole forest. I swear to God, like half the plants here are made of thorns. All right, you see the hill up ahead? Oh, yeah? That's what we gotta do. Oh, God. I'll just take a couple steps at a time. I'm very tired, but this needs to be done. So I just need to get through it. Ugh. Oh, ah! At this point, we both have cuts in our feet. We're both exhausted. It's time to dig in, dig deep, and find whatever source of energy we can to get the job done. Oh, give me a second to breathe. I'm exhausted. It takes everything out of me. Oh, ah! Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah. I'm on my way. And not happy clouds. We're in a lot of trouble if we don't get the shelter up before that comes. That took every last ounce of everything I had. But I am wasted. We need to get the fire started. This is definitely a race as I try to get this thing going. Please, please, please. We need to keep that fire going. This is not good. Yeah, it's so no, cold. This is not good. It's gonna be near hypothermia the entire time we're out here. I'm really, really tired. I'm really cold. And I don't think I'm gonna be good. The storm rages into the evening, and temperatures fall into the coldest yet, the low 40s. Lisa and Tom's bodies are on the verge of hypothermia. I'm done, Tom. I'm done, Tom. I don't want to stay, One of the toughest chicks I've ever had. <laughs> I know some tough chicks, and they're going to be over this. It's 
so freaking cold right now. I'm surprised we made it this far. Definitely concerned about myself and about Lisa. It's really just chill, bone chilling right now. Hoping that, you know, the night doesn't get any colder. A few hours later, temperatures dropped to their lowest in three weeks. We've got about two or three hours to go, hopefully less, we don't really know, but things are dismal right now. I can only hope morning comes soon. Day 21, last night was probably the toughest thing I've ever done. Just sitting there and being cold and wanting to tap and knowing that it's right within reach if I wanted to. To reach their extraction point, Lisa and Tom still face a difficult five mile trek through thick jungle and overflowing streams. Last night was my breaking point. I needed a lot of help last night. Tom was a huge help. He kept me going, he kept talking to me, and now we're onto our extraction site. Uh, watch these thorns to the right here. Okay. Uh, just ignore the pain. Couldn't be doing this without you, Tom. You holding up okay? Doing all right. Watch this one, it's thorny as hell. Okay. You're doing great. Sounds like the river's right up there. It's getting louder. Maybe this is the place. I think it's gonna have to be. Oh. The intense rains of the past three weeks have caused the rivers to swell and flow at speeds of over 20 miles per hour. In their weakened condition, one slip could wash them away downriver. All right, you up for this? Yeah, man, just be real careful. Yeah, it's a lot of water moving. All right, real solid foot placement. I used to be real careful, dude. This is not the time to slip. If you so need I'm... me, just yell and I'll right. reach for you. All right. Right behind me? I'm right behind you. Okay. Oh, it's cold. How you doing? You all right? Stay close behind you. Yep, grab a hand. You OK? OK. Got a little push. OK, coming up right here. You OK? You stable? I'm all right so far. Stay there? Yeah. Yeah, nice, right. Lisa. Woo. Made it across. Oh, there it is. Nice. Oh, ah, yes! Yeah, yes! For me, being out in the woods has always been somewhat of a loner activity. But after everything Lisa and I have been through, we've become such a team that it seems really nice to, you know, care about and worry about the other and make sure that they're going to be just as successful as you are. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes! I think it would take a significant amount of ego to say that this makes me an expert survivalist. I still have a lot to learn, but then when the chips are down, I am pretty tough. Get out of here, come on, young guys! I will not miss being cold, I will miss you! Thank you so much, thank you!